Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we've got some cash on our hands. We also need this spy master, that's the thing that we need, and we have a new daughter. Okay, that's completely fine. Now I do want to take a look at what we've got going on over here. We've got these castles that need a little bit more upgrading, but we're actually getting incredibly close here. This castle's good to go. This one we've got five months left on, that's fine. I'm just going to go through all of these up here. Hello. We definitely want to make sure that we have... I think I'm going to go with forestry here. Okay. That'll be fine, and that's good to go. Yes, fantastic. So the only thing that we need to construct over here now, let me go up to speed four, is that we need to construct this. More specifically, we need to construct forestry here. Actually, guilds. It's, it's going to be guilds. No, wait. That's already building there. Never mind. It's going to be forestry. So we're going to build forestry here, and we will have that done in about 30 days. I'm going to take it down to speed 3 again now, actually, because we're starting to get to the point where we are interested in some expansion. Okay, meadows have been constructed, sure. We are going to let that tick on down and construct forestry there. Perfect. So at this point, we are now actually fully ready, I think, to expand. Uh, we might still need a little bit of conversion up this way or something. What's the religion and culture situation up here? Sinhala and... Okay, these are not fully correct in the... Well, no, they are correct in their religion. Yeah. Perfect. It is this one over here that we're converting in religion. So that's fine. We're completely comfortable with this. And over here, we need to upgrade this to level 4 pastoral fields. That means that this economic castle is now maxed out. We're getting very close on getting these maxed out. And we do probably want to attack this guy at some point soon. I'd like to push that claim. That's a lot of prestige. So, our player heir here. I want to take a quick remembrance here. Let's go into our lifestyle focus here. And I believe that... Let's see, it's actually diplomatic that goes down the August tree. Okay, we might want to consider doing that. This guy is pensive and zealous. Um... Would he do well with a learning education? Yeah, because he's pensive, actually. We can't change the, educa the education focus, sadly. So he is going to be Marshall, and he's probably not going to do the greatest on that. I should wait before I assign those until I know what the traits are going to be, in all honesty. But that's okay. We can usurp this Raj, and in fact, this is probably something that is very good for us to do right now. That converts gold into prestige in a nice fashion. And we probably want to... Do we want to give it to this guy? I mean, we're going to have too many held duchies right now. But what if we were to declare on this guy for this de jure claim? That's only 100 prestige. And so we do it. So we're going to come down over here and raise our troops. Shouldn't take too long to raise up enough. We need... This is good enough. We don't have a commander on these. We'll put this guy in. And I mean, yeah, he has allies, but we don't care. We do need a new marshal, and it'll be... This guy sucks, but it'll be him nonetheless. They're attacking up over here. That's fine. What we're going to do here is we're going to split off our onagers and about 2,000 levies. The rest of these troops, they are going to make their way up over here. And go deal with that army. We should have plenty of time. It's going to be 10 months before that's done. And this will get us some expansion down here where we can work on culture, faith, and... I don't think we are going to need to construct anything here, are we? Actually, yeah, we are. We'll need to construct one thing, but that's not a big deal. And then once we're done with this, we'll give this to somebody who isn't this guy, because this guy holds all of this, and I don't want him to. If we look at our Dijur duchies here, he's getting up into this territory, and I'd like to take this away from him. Do we have a reason to revoke his titles? 
We don't have an available hook, but we can blackmail him. That would give it, get us a weak hook, and that's what we're going to do. Okay. He already strongly dislikes us. And then we can revoke some of his titles here, like this one. He won't accept it, of course. Or we can revoke this one. Which would do what exactly? Ah, I see. It's the blue one. Never mind. Okay, we'll we'll figure out how we want to handle that in a moment. I just want this guy to not necessarily hold this duchy and this duchy. We did take prisoners in that siege. These guys are going to come up here and begin sieging the capital while we deal with this tiny little army over here. We did just discover communal government, and that's really good. We're about to get mangonels as well. So communal government is fantastic, and that took us to chronicle writing. For our next. That's okay. I would have preferred something up here, though, in all honesty. But that's fine. We do need to rework our men-at-arms, and after this war, we will. Excellent. So we'll put this army down, no problem whatsoever. And we're going to come up over here and see about fighting these guys. They're, they're heading off. We'll head up over here. Excellent. We have no other castle structures that we can make here just yet. Okay. We'll chase these guys up over here, I guess. And these guys, they're going to begin their siege on the capital. Do we catch these here? We might. And it kind of looks like we do. Yes, I like it. We'll definitely do that. Four months on the siege on their capital, and that'll be fine. This is a pretty minor war, all things considered, but I just want to clean this up. We do have an available perk as well, and let's go ahead and take Fearful Troops. I do see these guys moving around this way. We'll respond to them. I'm not sure where they're planning on attacking, but we'll just move our troops down into the south, like into our capital county. Sieging this is likely not going to finish the war unless we happen to get lucky with it. So that's definitely something that we need to be thinking about. Yeah, they're coming around over here. Maybe they're going to land in the war goal. Is that their plan? Hmm. This guy wants to reduce his feudal taxes to us, and he is offering us Kerala. This. I want to take that from it any from him anyway. Okay, I like it. We'll hand this out to someone else entirely. How about our nephew? Fantastic. I should have handed the castle out first, but it's an economic castle, so that should be fine. We're going to come down here and fight these guys if we have enough time. And that does, of course, mean that we can revoke this guy's title up here. Alupa is the one that we'd want to revoke. Now, he won't accept this. And we're going to hold off on that because he will rebel. Excellent. So that puts us at 99%, which actually means this war is just straight up over. One more month of ticking war score, and that will be ours. But we'll come up here and fight them anyway. There we go. Enforce those demands, and we'll disband those troops. And then this guy only holds that title. That's great. We're going to give this guy the title of... This Raj. Two vassals will be transferred. Which two? Hang on. Two vassals? Oh, this guy. Right. Yes, that's good. We want that. So, this should now be part of his realm. Indeed. And this should not be part of his realm. Perfect. So, we revoke this guy's title, and it's the title of Alupa, and we aren't going to get any change whatsoever from using a hook. So what we're going to do is we are going to raise up our army. We're going to raise that army up right in his capital. Are these going to get black flagged? That'll be interesting to find out. Let's see. I'm just going to fully raise these up. Everybody we got. There we go. And now we're going to try this. 
So we're going to revoke his title of Alupa. Now, this is an act of tyranny, but that's okay. And we can use up the hook. I don't really care. Actually, I shouldn't have, but he will rebel. As expected. And it looks like we are not black flagged. We're also not sieging. So that's interesting. Let's go ahead and stop this movement. And now we're sieging. Okay, perfect. Eight months on that siege. We do need a new steward, and we'll put in this guy. He's our current marshal, but he sucked at being marshal. So we'll put this guy in as our marshal. Excellent. And a seven-month siege does hurt a little bit. We did just get the armillary sphere fascination. Ah, oh, because we had mangonels and I didn't choose one. We want to go burrs. Absolutely burrs. That is 100% what we want now. So that's fine. And I do want to station troops here. We'll do that, and we'll send these guys up north. Just to see if we can intercept that. Who is his ally? I don't care. Okay. Good to know. We did get a breach here. We still have eight months left, though, unfortunately. We, it's a small breach. An unpressed claim on... Where is this? I don't care. He can keep the title by our grace. Yeah, that'll get us 40 stress. We can get rid of that stress pretty easily. In fact, let's go ahead and call a hunt to start working up some prestige. We have a lot of gold. No concerns on that. This army is going to try to chase down his army. Hunting trophy. Yeah, I like it. So let's also go ahead and host a feast as soon as we can once our hunt is over. Fantastic, 150 prestige, and we'll host a feast. Wonderful, because we're going to need some prestige. There's no doubt about that one. So we're chasing this guy down a bit. I think we might be catching up with him. Ooh, a wee cook. We'll take that. How's this siege going? 100, or 300 gold? Yeah, that's okay. We don't mind that. Yeah, we catch him. Fantastic. The siege should be just about done. Our brother was slain in battle. Okay. Lose 44 stress. Our sister died. Farm estates in Korkai. Yeah, we should definitely look at that. So we come down over here and we upgrade that, like so. Phenomenal. Our other brother died in battle. Okay. I mean, we have lots of children. So this isn't really an issue. We did win that battle. He is retreating. I'm not sure where to. The siege should be done in 45 days. Excellent. That is magnificent. And we're just going to keep following this guy. Wherever he goes, we will follow. Co-ops, or rather coops, have been constructed. That's the second time that I did that. It's not co-ops in this time period, I can tell you that. I think that was in a castle that is now maxed out. Sure. Oh, hello. Okay, we got it in time. That's all we needed. So, yeah, they're probably going to stack wipe this, in all honesty. I didn't see these guys come in. They must have raised up here. That's okay. We'll retreat this as soon as we can, which is now. Excellent. And we need a new chancellor, which will be... This guy is absolutely abysmal at the job. We'll put this guy in. And we'll put this guy in as our steward. He's also abysmal at the job. But our odds are... Or rather, our options are fairly limited right now. Actually, this is fine. They can just go over here and siege this. To be clear, we are definitely going to be getting ourselves a decent chunk of war score from these battles. Yeah, that's what I thought, you jerk. There we go. Fantastic. So that siege is not going to progress. And yeah, we are definitely going to win this battle. And this should in theory, anyway, win the war. I think. 
I think this will give us enough to win the war. Certainly if we stack wiped him, I'm I'm less sure now, now that I think about it a little bit more. Yeah, 90%. Okay, we're just going to head up here. And this siege will be done in three months, so that'll be fine. This siege should get us what we need. We could assault this fort, but I think that's a bad idea. Okay, we're taking that same path. I'm just hoping he's not retreating to our siege. It would be awkward if he was, but it looks like he's not. I think. We can extort our subjects, and so we shall. Fantastic. Why take a little when we can take a lot? Okay. And there's that war won. So we'll enforce those demands, and that of course means that we will revoke this title from this guy. It will be a Lupa. Fantastic. And that will of course get handed out to another guy entirely, like this guy. And then granted to this guy. So we will want to grant him a vassal. Here it is. And we'll want that to be of a lupa. Perfect. Now that does get us a lot of stress because we're greedy. So we don't want to do that too much. But a little bit here and there is fine. Um, Flagellant is okay. We'll go ahead and do that. Fantastic. And we are going to want to have our steward come down here and convert this culture. He's not very good at his job, so it'll take him some time, but that's okay. Now, we can't really declare on this guy, but I would love to at some point in the future. 1,500 is actually not that much to subjugate. Fascinating. We'd have to tear his realm apart and reconstruct it, though, and when we're greedy, that's not necessarily the greatest idea. But we can get some upgrades rolling here, and we definitely need to work on our men-at-arms. We should also ransom off all of our prisoners. There we go. Excellent. And let's rework these men-at-arms. We're going to need to get rid of these onagers. We're going to need to get rid of these onagers. And we're going to need to get rid of these armored footmen. So we'll create a new regiment of our special armored footmen. Fantastic. And we're going to create two regiments of mangonels. Wonderful. We'll bump those up to maximum size and let those regenerate as quick as we can. We do have a new stewardship perk available. We'll, we'll grab golden aplomb. There we go. We just inherited something that we probably don't want. What did we inherit? Oh, this barony here. That's fine. We'll just grant that off to a low noble. No concerns. None whatsoever. So we got a little bit of gains there. That's fantastic. And we're going to want to start being able to attack this guy pretty soon. He is, of course, a different religion, but he is still Buddhist. Which makes things a little bit problematic for us. No, like, holy wars or anything. But then again, we're also a pacifist. So I'm not sure, yeah, cannot declare Holy Wars or Raid. So that is definitely going to mean that we're going to have to focus more on claims. Which is definitely interesting. We can negotiate an alliance with this guy, and we are absolutely going to do that. We can change this guy's contract to be high feudal taxes and levies. And... We're going to do that. We only have the one hook. So we'll give him... Actually, we'll give him high levies. There we go. We can demand a payment from this guy, and so we shall. Fantastic. We have a lot of gold at this point. We definitely don't need to be focusing on stewardship on our future heirs. Which is why this guy, of course, is on a martial education focus. I do want to get this castle upgrading to castle level 2. I believe that was the only one that we have that is not castle level 2 at this point. Including this one? No, this one needs to upgrade as well. So we'll upgrade that to castle level 2. These four over here are obviously castle level 2. Wonderful. So with that underway, this castle is maxed out. This one's getting there. How close are we to Burrs? We are currently about 14 years from Burrs. Fantastic. And... 
We're only missing one innovation from the early medieval era to unlock the high medieval era. We're only eight years out right now. This is 14 years and nine years. So we're going to be slightly behind on the high medieval era, but that's okay. Fairly soon, we're going to want to do a learning focus, so that'll be fine. I would change our current our current heir. That said, we could change, like, this guy. He's currently rowdy and trusting, which isn't super helpful. Curious. Curious is okay. But I kind of don't want to spend the prestige on getting that massive changeover. That's a thousand prestige. And I'd rather spend that on subjugating this guy. If we could at all help it. That would be fan phenomenal to do. Absolutely wonderful. Our rival died. That's good. What's going on over here? There appears to be a rebellion going on. Liberty War. Okay. Well, they can do that if they like. We are on absolute crown authority. And that is just wonderful. So at this point, we're basically saving up our prestige, and we can host a feast and call for a hunt whenever we get those available. In fact, at this point, we should probably be notifying when these decisions become available. Our wound has healed from the flagellation, so that is also absolutely wonderful. This castle is maxed out for the tech level, as is this one. As is this one. This one's not yet... But many of these are getting very, very close to being maxed out for the current tech level. So that is absolutely wonderful. We're well on our way through the early medieval era, and we'll be entering the high medieval period quite soon. The high medieval period will be our period of expansion. For sure. We're making so much money right now, it's absurd. Our men-at-arms have been upgraded. They will be upgraded again. We will be getting Household Soldiers probably next. I don't think we're too worried about Arched Saddle because I would prefer element, el elements, <laughs> Elephants over Armored Horsemen. Horseshoes will be absolutely good. So these three are three that are high priority for me. These four are low priority. And we'll just let those do what they're going to do. We're not too concerned about them. Excellent. So we just need a little bit more prestige at this point to attack this guy. We can't raid for it. So it is what it is. Lots of war against tyranny happening here. What did you do, buddy? What did you do? He, uh, he made his vassals very angry. Well, I wish him luck with that. Camp Cooks have been constructed in Madurai, so that means that we can get regimental clearings. Wonderful. Are we on train commanders? Yes, we are. That's good. That's very, very good. And we are working on converting these various regions. So we have several irons in the fire here, but we are pretty much done investing. I mean, we have some castles, particularly these three here that still need investment. This one is going to be maxed out for the current tech level once it finishes this construction as are these three up here. So that's wonderful. Burrs will be in in about 13 years, at which point we'll be able to further upgrade those military buildings. And we're very, very happy about that. Chronicle writing in eight years, and yeah, I mean, we're going to be like a year late to the High Medieval Era, but that isn't a big deal, all things considered. We've been far later to the High Medieval Era in... All of our other games, actually. <laughs> so that is definitely a thing. It is, however, time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to begin our expansion. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.